Hi, today's strategy was tested on 7 years of historical data and 14 different stocks. The indicator is totally random, so entry positions don't follow any specific rules, except the one of throwing a die. I will show you how this random strategy achieved 160% in returns through our automated backtest using Python. And by the way, the code I'll be using in this video and the data files as well are freely available for download from the link in the description. So you can replicate the results and experiment a bit with the backtesting. This concept of random entry trading was introduced by a hedge fund manager named Tom Basso, whose famous idea is that with robust risk management and position sizing, even random entries can be profitable. So so the real edge in trading comes from a solid exit strategy and not really from predicting market direction with pinpoint accuracy. So here we go. I gave up the secret. It's mostly risk management. Now let's check some more details about it before the coding and backtesting part. The strategy we will test today follows these rules. First, we generate a random direction to short or long the market. Then we open a trade in the generated direction with a stop loss distance of n times the ATR or the average true range. This way the stop loss distance is related to the volatility of the market. We will use a trailing stop so the stop loss will follow the price in the winning direction to maximize profits and the position sizing is usually few percent of the current account. We can start with 1% and increase our risk up to 5% position size. Why do we expect this strategy to work? Simply because we are letting winning trades run to maximize profits and we are cutting losing trades as quickly as possible, which will bring the risk reward balance in our favor. Now let me show you the Python code and the backtesting results. So this is our Jupyter notebook file. I'm importing the libraries we will be using. So I'm using pandas underscore technical analysis TA for the indicators. We're going to be using this for computing the ATR, the average true range. The first function read CSV to data frame is used to read CSV files and casting these into a data frame. So there's a bit of cleaning here. We're discarding candles where we have the high equal to low. So these are candles where we have no market movements and so on. Then this one actually uses the previous function to read a folder because we're going to test our strategy on multiple assets. So we're going to have multiple CSV files for the different stocks. And this function is going to read the whole folder of CSVs and will cast these into a list of data frames and a list of file names. Then this is where we generate the uh, signal. Our total signal is actually a random choice between one and two. So this is for shorting the market. This is for longing the market. The function at total signal is going to apply this total signal function to all the rows that we have. I'm not vectorizing this. We're putting these into a function so as you may have noticed, I'm um, applying this to each of the rows. I know it's less efficient. It's simply much easier this way if we want to deploy this live on the market. So for live trading, we're computing the ATR using this function. So I'm using Pandas Technical Analysis again, providing the high, the low, the close and the length. So the length by default is 10. This was provided by one of your comments. So the person who pointed out this strategy advised to use length equal 10. So we're going to start with this one. We can experiment by changing this value later on, but for now we're starting with 10. Then I have add point position column. So that's going to add one more column to the data frame where we uh, position or points coordinates that we're going to use later on in the following function in the plot candlestick with signals in order to be able to plot the uh, candles. I'm going to show you this on the chart. So we plot the candles with these signal points. So the signal points. So the previous function computes the uh, positions of these points. If the point is below the candle, it's a long position. If the point is above the candle, it's a short position. And now we can start using these functions. So I'm um, providing the folder uh, path. So I put my data into data underscore stocks. That's a folder. For each of these data frames, we are going to add the ATR. We're going to add the total signal column as well. We're going to add the points positions for plotting in order to plot some of these charts. So a data frame would look like this. We have the open, high, low, closing and volume columns. We have the ATR. We have the total signal. As you can see, it's random, either short or long for two. And then we have the point positions uh, related to these uh, to this total signal column. Now, if you want to compute the um, sum of the signals, we can use this line. It's going to show us that we have 11,000 shorting signals, 11,000 long signals. We're not going to use all of them simply because when a trade is opened, we will not allow 
for another trade to be opened in parallel. So it will be one trade at a time until each trade is closed. And now we can use the plot candlestick with signals just to make sure that we have signals and how the distribution is. So looking at the density of the points, we know that it's randomly distributed. We don't have any privileged or biased signal direction, as you can see. So it's in both directions on all the chart candles. Now to backtest the strategy, I'm using the backtesting.py package. Uh, first, we define a signal function that's just going to return the uh, column total signal from the data frame. Then we inherit from class strategy, uh, defining my strategy. The size for now is 0.01, .01 and that's 1% of the current account, as we have mentioned. Then we have the ratio, stop loss ATR ratio. That's the ratio with which we are going to multiply the ATR in order to compute the stop loss distance. So we're starting with three, but we can optimize it later on and change things automatically between, let's say, three and eight, see which one will yield the best results. For now, we're going to keep it this way. Then we have these two blocks here of instructions. This one, if the signal is two, so we have a long signal and we don't have any open positions currently on the market. So we allow one trade at a time. Going to compute the current close, which is the um, self.data.close minus one. So that's the closing price or the most recent candle. Then we compute the stop loss distance, which is equal to the current close minus the uh, ratio, stop loss ATR ratio, times the ATR, current ATR of the current candle. So that's the uh, stop loss distance. And we're going to put a buy position with the size and the stop loss distance. So we're not using a take profit as you have noticed, because we're going to apply a trailing stop for our trades. Now in the opposite direction, if we have a shorting signal, we're going to do the same. Now these two are for opening, these two blocks are for opening the uh, positions, the trades. And this part here is for trailing the stop. It's very important because this is going to make the difference in our strategy. So that's how we code the uh, trailing stop. If the trade is long, we're going to change at each step, at each closing price for each candle, provided we have an open trade. We're going to change the stop loss position. And this is only applied if the price is moving in the uh, winning direction, in our profit. This is why we put the maximum between the current stop loss or minus infinity actually and this value of the stop loss. Same here, we put the minimum for the shorting part for the short uh, trades. So this is our strategy. It's very simple, nothing complex here. And we're going to run it on all the assets. And so now we can aggregate the results. I'm checking the aggregated returns. That's 42% for now. Number of trades is 420. Maximum drawdown is minus 6.6%. That's very good. And an average drawdown was of minus 0.35%. A winning rate, modestly 46%. The best trade is around 200%. And the worst trade is minus 56%. And on average, the trade return is 1.62%. So as you can see, it's not a spectacular return. So we don't have a lot of uh, a huge number here. Uh, remember that this is almost over seven years of uh, backtesting, but we can still uh, add some assets. We just put 14 or 15 stocks. We're using the daily time frame again. So that's going to be a bit slower than other uh, trading strategies. However, it's kind of safe, actually. So it is a good in terms of risk management. Look at the maximum drawdown. It's minus 6.6%. Uh, so that's over seven years of data and 15 uh, or 14 uh, stocks, historical uh, data for stocks. So that's quite decent uh, versus the 42% returns. Now, I know at this point we want to experiment and make things a bit more exciting. So what we can do is, uh, by the way, I've added commissions here. So that's a modest commission that would cover the spread and a bit of fees. So you can increase it if you want, but it's not going to change much. Actually, even if I put five here, it's not going to change much because we are using the daily time frame. And so the daily time frame has wider range usually, and the trades are going to cover for the um, expenses of themselves. So uh, the wins are usually higher on the daily time frame. And fees are not of importance because they are easily covered 
by the range of the price and the amount you are winning when you have a winning trade. So as you can see, I've increased, I've doubled actually the uh, the fees and we just lost a bit like 1% of our aggregated returns. So now we are at 41.59%. I don't think it changes much, especially that the maximum drawdown is still around minus 6.6%. So now to increase our risk, I'm going to trade with 5% of the account instead of 1%. And we're going to run it again. We're going to run the simulation again, the optimization and so on. Now we can check the results. So now we are up to 207%, but also our maximum drawdown is minus 29%. And the average drawdown is minus 1.7%. This is not bad, but the maximum drawdown is huge in my opinion. Notice also that I'm using a leverage of 1 to 5. So this is our margin. Uh, we can also increase it 1 to 10 if you uh, intend to increase the risk. But this is also going to increase the maximum drawdown, which is not really aligned with what the original author, uh, Tom Basso, uh, intended. He wanted a very safe strategy with a good risk management. And now we are going out of the scope of uh, his strategy. But anyway, we have aggregated returns of 427%. But then we have a maximum drawdown of minus 50%. Definitely, you're not going to trade this. We're going to put it back to um, the safe zone. Let's go back to 2%, let's say. And the margin of 1 to 5 and I'm going to keep the uh, commissions actually uh, as is for now. So we're going to run strategy, the back test again, and just show you the results before we can plot this. So we have 78%, which is okay-ish, minus 12%, minus 13% as a maximum drawdown. This is also okay for now. And an average drawdown of minus 0.7%. This is great, actually. So we're still uh, considering this as a safe strategy. Now we can plot the equities uh, depending on the different stocks, but you can see that some of them are going down. So them, some of them are not uh, suitable for this strategy. Some of them are going up dramatically. So we could also filter some of the stocks just to choose those that are aligned with such an approach of trading uh, maybe it can also improve our results. But there's no guarantee that if it worked in the past, it will still work in the future for some stocks. The best way is to do like we are doing here, just to diversify the portfolio, trade on many different stocks at the same time. This is how if one stock is losing, it will be compensated by another winning stock and so on. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If so, you can support the channel by leaving a comment, provide some trading ideas. And if you like, subscribe and press the like button. Until our next one, trade safe and see you next time.